Hi everybody! Welcome to the Off the Grid Revolution. Here we are in the greenhouse again. One of my favorite places in the whole world. Today, um, I'm bringing stuff back from the, uh, the sale that we had at the farmer's market. We sold another uh, about 30 bucks worth of stuff um, to go to the Community Bill of Rights. And uh, after we're done raising money for the Community Bill of Rights, we'll probably do something for the Bernie Sanders campaign. Because a lot of the occupiers, for the first time in their lives, have decided that there might be a politician out there who's actually worth helping because he might actually help us. When I read through some of the principles of Occupy um, that I'd taken notes on back when we were um, just starting up, what Bernie Sanders has to say sounds to me like what, um, what Occupy is all about. He talks about um, breaking up the big banks. What a good idea. He talks about um, uh, decent pay and um, uh, an infrastructure development project. Uh, so that people can have good jobs. He talks about a rational immigration policy. He spoke uh, about um, Black Lives Matter in a positive fashion. He talks about being away from uh, corporate in involvement uh, in government and reversing Citizens United. He talks about reforming the Supreme Court. I mean, does this sound like Occupy to you? It sounds like Occupy to me. Lots of folks have said, yeah, but he's a politician. And my thinking is, this may be our last best hope. It may be our chance to work for change in a meaningful way, not like uh, we did for Obama. I was so bummed at that. I worked so hard for that man, and I am so disappointed. Um, and I hope you are too. Um, we have um, Bernie Sanders with a history of years and years and years of always saying the same things about that I just mentioned and talking about uh, justice for uh, the middle class and uh, justice for the poor. That's Bernie Sanders. So what we may do is we may switch some of the off-grid projects um, from uh, the Community Bill of Rights after that event is over in November to the Bernie Sanders campaign uh, if nothing else just to take on the corporate people who are pumping so much money into the election system, uh, we need to challenge them. We need to take it to them. We need to get money out of politics. And Bernie has promised not to take any money from corporations. And he's asking for people with donations of, you ready? $3. That's what he wants us to send in. Now, I hope you send in lots more than that. I certainly plan to. Um, and I plan on giving him everything I can to help him with this. Um, by selling produce that comes out of the greenhouse or by selling plants uh, that come out of the greenhouse. Um, and talking about the greenhouse, and not Bernie Sanders for a while, uh, tomatoes are pretty much at the end of the sale season in terms of the plants. And so now we're going to transition into leaving the tomatoes grow and selling the produce. We sold our first tomatoes uh, this first of August, the first week of August. We sold tomatoes today at the uh, farmer's market. We sold zucchinis and yellow squash, and we've harvested cucumbers. I showed you guys this one last week. Let me show it to you again. Twice the size. That is an albino cucumber. Have you ever seen such a thing? Is that not gorgeous? I am not. That is lovely. Isn't that great, Joe? I just love that it. That is. How's it um, taste? Same as every other cucumber. So it's basically just cosmetics. Um, it's one of the few things that are white that are positive. I like it. Good. Um, so we sold tomatoes today, uh, not as many as we had before. We're selling more spices. We're selling zucchinis. We're selling yellow squashes. Uh, we're selling, um, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? This that is. is ornamental basil. It also is a really mild tasting basil. You can cook it. You can use it as an ornamental plant. Or you'll like this, Joe. You can dry it and make a tea out of it. Fantastic. Yeah. Barely smells like basil, but it's good. I haven't tried the tea. I just found out about it today. I'm going to do that. Um, the berries. The blackberries are in season now, and we picked some of those, and we sold uh, one basket of them and gave another basket away, one berry at a time, and got lots of people saying, bring lots more berries next week. We'll buy them from you. That sounds so. like smoothie fixing. Oh, 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 Jim. 
I have some saved for you. Thank you. <laughs> They're in the truck. Um, yeah, the kale that was in the front yard is kind of shot. We've um, been eating the heck out of that. So I got a bag of um, kale tops from a friend. She said they were kale seeds. They're actually the top packets or pods where the seeds are. We're going to break open those pods and uh, take out the seeds and then we're going to run a couple of rows of, uh, of kale. The, uh, our mines will be in the gutter. You can't see it, maybe not. Back there's a gutter that's pretty big under the counter. Mm -hmm. It looks like this, only long. <clears throat> we're going to yeah. run a row of that and do kale because kale is incredibly popular. We could probably sell every leaf of it that we grow. So the Bernie Sanders project, to get back to that, we have um, signs, political signs that we have uh, collected. We have about 500 of them right now. We've processed some and we've um, uh, found some more. Uh, we keep processing and sending out. It's a one more mechanism of communication for the revolution. We're going to do signs. Once we find out what's legal to do for Bernie Sanders, we're going to do that. I don't know yet. If any of you out there in computer land, um, video land, understand what the law in Ohio is about making signs, what's not a political sign for Bernie Sanders that we can put up? That's the question on the table right now. If any of you have any ideas, um, let us know. Contact us. And where should they contact us, Joe? Because I don't. We were going to uh, establish yeah. the email address. Yeah, we never got the email address. I did a Gmail thing, and I can't figure out how to use it. So once I figure out that, because I'm okay. Try okay. try Yahoo Mail. That might be easier than okay. Gmail. Okay, we'll we'll do that. But anyway, uh, can they reach us through um, one of the anonymous or Occupy? Or yes, the... yes, they can get in touch with the admins of Occupy Youngstown or Anonymous Youngstown, and we can get to you from there. Great, let's do that. If you know what the law is in Ohio about what we can put up, because what I was told was if you put a sign up that just says Bernie, that's okay. If you put up a sign that says BernieSanders.com, that may not be okay because that's his website for his political campaign. And there are laws about when you can put political signs up. Um, which brings me to the point that the, those of you out there who have political signs, for goodness sake, don't throw them away. You've heard in previous videos, you can turn them inside out and you have canvases for new signs. Do that. It's free. Um, and start thinking about sending some money to Bernie Sanders, too. Don't send me any. We don't need it. We're sending it out, not bringing it in. Um, uh, we are, we're, we're, not, we're not even not for profit. We don't even understand what profit means. We have no concept of that. Everything we do here is volunteer and free. Money yeah. is fiction. Money is, uh, yeah, money is bo uh, fiction. Yeah, money is fiction. We don't want any part of it. Um, some people have a hard time with that because they have a touch of capitalism left in them. Sometimes I do too because I have a degree in marketing. I understand capitalism. What I understand though is it's not working as it's run now. Um, we have unfettered capitalism. Um, what Bernie Sanders wants is a fettered capitalism, a restricted capitalism. A capitalism that um, the super rich don't get to pay nothing in taxes. The corporations don't get to pay nothing in taxes or minimal in taxes. They don't get to ship the jobs overseas like they do now. Um, we're working on changing that. That's part of our revolution now. Um, do we want to go outside and see how the peppers and tomatoes are doing out there, Joe? Actually, we're coming up on nine minutes, so okay. we better wrap up for this week. Okay, we can wrap up for this week. So we've got some extra plants donated to us. The um, parsley that we had, if you, I don't know if you remember it, last week, this was a skinny little stick. And now, look at it. Nice. Nice. That wiped off and sitting on someone's kitchen counter would be just mm, lovely. Wonderful. Just lovely. Uh, okay. That's it. We're out of time. Bye, everybody.